Hi everyone, I'm Casey Enerva from kksikat.com. I'm a blogger and today I'm going to show you how I file my taxes online hassle-free by Taxumo. So Anna, let's start. Hi guys, so andito tayo ngayon sa withheld tax tab or where you get to log in your withholding tax. Ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo how to do this by Taxumo. So, we're gonna add a record. Ayan. And you're gonna input which quarter. For example, second quarter, you have to input that. And the 10 of the tax, the payer, it means usually the company that hires you. So, lalagay tayo yan. We're gonna input random numbers kasi this is a test account. So, ayan. And pair name, halimbawa, favorite ni Joff, Macdo, kasi orders pancake every day. Ayan. So, sa tax code, it's required na ilagay. And as a blogger, ang usual kong nilalagay is 120, which is a subcontractor account. Now, why do we have to log our withholding tax? Kasi, usually for big companies, um, sila, sila na yung nagbabayad ng tax for us and para rin mabawasan yung tax na binabayaran natin. So, it's a must na ilog nyo. So, kunyari, meron tayong income sa third month. Okay natin, 2,000. Ay, 25,000 na. <laughs> Yan. Tapos, total tax withheld sabi natin uh, 1,600 kaya ako nagtaksumo kasi I'm not good with math so they'll compute everything na for us so you have to upload your scanned copy of 2307 for example lang and then you just have to click on submit and then taksumo will do everything from computations and it will display in the withheld tax tab. So, itong withheld tax automatically na lalabas sa ating 1701Q file na makikita rin natin sa submissions. So, another cool function of Taxumo's Books tab is you can export your file to a CSV. And then, you can open it. I'm going to save it first. You can open it by Excel, but you can edit it there and print it out. Because there are some RDOs that allows printed version. You can print it lang, tapos ibibigit nyo lang don sa box nyo. Yan. Pwede rin naman dito. But you can print this out and then paste it on your box instead of manually writing it. But you have to double check if it's allowed by your RDO. Pero ako, to be safe, I just chinachaga ko na lang isulat sa box ko. Kasi it's so important that you keep your books. Kasi if you don't, sometimes they do random checks if you do your books or not. So this functionality is only available if you're subscribed to Taxumo's Pro version. And kung hindi kayo subscribe, you still have to hire a separate accountant which can be pricey compared to just doing your books by yourself, which you can easily do if you have the books functionality in Taxumo. One of another tab from Taxumo is their categories. It's already part of their, if you subscribe to their basic subscription, it's included. And in this area, you can add additional categories for income or expense. And you'll have to add this if it's not included in the default categories. Like for example, in incomes, ito yung mga andito na and let's check the expense. Electricity, rent, and jan. Pero what if you need to add something new? So you can just select add new. So ito, mag a tayo ng income category na wala sa default. So for example, meron tayong sideline. Um, kunyari, nag insurance ako. So, lalagay natin income category is, sa name is insurance. And, 
commissions kasi we get commissions from insurance and referrals. And the tax code for this is usually PT010, persons exempt from VAT as a freelancer. Ito yung usual na ginagamit natin. And for type, you have three options, sales, partnership, and other income. So we're gonna put this in sales kasi we still get um, monetary value from commissions and simply click save. So, ayan, lalabas na siya sa... Scroll down natin. Ayan siya. So, magagamit na natin to whenever we have to log in our income. Now, mag next, mag add naman tayo ng expense category. So, simply select add new and choose expense category. Ngayon, we have three types of expense categories, direct, indirect, and capital. So for direct, it means that it's directly related to your work. So for example, I'm a blogger. And then sometimes I do workshops on the side. For example, when I teach people how to start their own blog and such. So we select direct and then let's add workshop. Now, for other options like indirect, now indirect means it's not directly related to your job, but it's still required for you to sustain the business. For example, I do meetings with my prospect clients, and sometimes we have lunch outs. So you can add it in your expense category. For example, lunch outs with clients. And last but not the least, um, capital. Now, ito yung expense na ginagamit natin when we need to make purchases directly related to our job. For example, I'm a blogger, so required sa amin to get like upgraded laptops or mobile phones, cameras, and, uh, and such. So, we simply select capital and then the name of the expense, for example, laptop. And then click save. Then automatically, lalabas na siya as a new category. Pwedeng kung every month kayo bumibili ng laptop, pwede go. So ayan, nandiyan siya sa lahat. So ayan guys, ngayon I'm going to show you how we can log our books by Taksumo. Ngayon, kung new man kayo or dati, datihan pa, alam nyo Pag sa BIR, they give us like four books that we have to put something in it. Ngayon, kung katulad nyo, ako na hindi alam kung ano ang gagawin dun sa mga books na yun, sobrang blessing tong books functionality ng Taksumo, which you'll be able to have if you subscribe to their pro version. Ngayon, ano pang ginagawa dito sa books? Ngayon, it has four options, yung cash receipt journal, disbursement, ledger, and journal. Ngayon, it depends kung anong box ang meron kayo. So, now, papakita ko sa inyo how you can manually input um, yung kailan yung ilagay sa box by Taksumo. Ngayon kasi, ako, hindi ko talaga alam kung anong susulat ko dun sa box manually. Kaya, gagamitin ko tong functionality na to. Kasi, ang ginagawa ng Taksumo, um, siya na nag-generate ng data na kailangan yung isulat sa box nyo. So, ayan, so once you, you've sent your invite to your prospective delegates, its status is pending kasi kailangan nilang i-accept yung invitation mo. Na in case they miss the email, you can resend or cancel if you decide na iba na lang ang kunin mo delegate. Now, this is a feature um, exclusively for Taksumo's Pro version. Hi guys! Thanks for watching and sana may natutunan kayo from me today. If you're ready to sign up with Taksumo.com, you can use my code KIKAYSIKAT 
and you get 100 pesos off on your first filing and a one-month extension in Taxumo Pro. So go and sign up now in Taxumo.com and don't forget to use my code Kike Sikat. Thanks for watching. Thank you.